Hey everybody, Dustin Dales here. I'm back at Omaha Comic Con. It's here in Council Bluffs, actually. It's the Mid-America Center. Make sure you come check it out. There's all sorts of booths you can check out as well as meeting some pretty cool people, including some legends from Sesame Street. They're here as well. I'm joined by Emilio, Emilio Delgado, as well as Bob McGrath. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Hey, Dustin, good to see you. Thank nice you for to see me you, on. nice to see you. So obviously you guys spent a long time on Sesame Street. Yep. Uh, you're clearly legends as far as that goes. <laughs> Is there, do you, do you get a new crop in and they kind of send them to you, teach them the ropes? <laughs> well, we, we got a lot of crops. Uh, we got a lot of, yeah. I mean, the show is, goes through a lot, a lot of changes. So our research department kind of keeps the show up to date. So as you may know, it's gone from a one hour to a 30 minute show. And it's for a younger audience now for pre-K. So. Uh, so it's, but it's always a great show. That's right. It changed, it changed the audience as well as it changed the channel. That's right. So uh, was the audience change, was that a big change for you guys to, to interact with? Well, uh, well uh, you know, we didn't feel it no. because uh, they, they were watching the television or their, their tablets or whatever it was. But our reaction was from the fans, of course. You know, when we meet them live, like in situations like this, where the fans come up and uh, you know they tell us how much they love the show and how long they've been watching the show and let me tell you some of them go back a long way. <laughs> we, we call them our sesame seeds or second generation. <laughs> I mean they go back 40 years you name it you know. But what is really rewarding for both uh, Emilio and I are the number of people that came by we just did Supercon in Florida last weekend and the number of parents that have children who have special needs uh, and what they learn, even with uh, autism and things of that sort, is very heartwarming. Uh, one parent said their kid didn't wasn't able to speak until he was six, and then he learned to read from the show and made great progress. So uh, yeah, we've that's gotten, very rewarding. We've gotten those stories all along, you know, stories like that, where, where children uh, all of a sudden come alive, you know, from yeah. watching the show and yep. start talking and what you know, whatever. It's amazing. It's almost miraculous, quite frankly. And it's all over the world. We're in about 130 English-speaking countries and about 40 or 50 foreign co-productions. And um, that's pretty amazing to think about that. I, in Africa, they have an, uh, a, a Muppet called Kami, and she is HIV positive. So she's able to tell kids what they need to know about uh, someone who's, that you can, don't have to worry about getting AIDS if you're just uh, playing with a child who is HIV positive. So it's quite a mission. Of course, uh, for a long time now, I think probably uh, in Mexico, they came up with Plaza Sesamo, mm -hmm. which is totally in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. And it's their version of Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing show. It's, a, you know, it's all over Mexico and South America. So you hear a lot, of, uh, a lot of comments from people from down there that they watch the show. And we've, we've gone all over the world, like yep. Bobby says. I, mean, I think it, in Russia, they had it one yeah. time, in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were in, my wife and I were in Paris some of years ago, and we were talking about this show, and, Cookie Monster is called Le Macaron. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of cookie, they get macaron. In French. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, now, Emilio, you started the show back in 1969, is that right? No, no, he started in 1969. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He, he started in 1969. <laughs> Did you I, ever? Came, I came in in 71. Two years later. Did you ever think it would last this long? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I read something recently. Joan Gans Cooney, whose brainchild Sesame Street was, it was two years worth of solid research before the first show ever went on the air. That's how carefully they put this show together. She even said, you know, when it was ready to go on the air, she said, well, we'll give it a try for a year or two and see how things go. And here we are, 45, 46 years later. I mean, who so. knew, you know? I mean, when I first got the job, I, you know, I had, uh, I had no idea that the show existed, but I was an actor working, and when I got the job, I thought, well, I got a job for a couple of years anyway. <laughs> and then it went on 10 years, 15, 25, 35 years. And the, uh, the spinoff has been wonderful. I was a professional singer prior to Sesame Street, and that's worked out well. I've done hundreds and hundreds of uh, family concerts with sim over 100 symphony orchestras through the years. And so that part's been Bob, a spinoff. You should tell them about your records that you have. Oh here. well, well. Come on, Bob. Bob no, you gotta I, plug the records. He's yeah. Got, he's got a bunch of CDs here that <laughs> can go back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, I should have to hire you for my hey. new manager. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started a record company quite a number of years, years ago called Bob's Kids Records, and I have uh, eight of them out, and you can find them on my website, bobmcgrath.com, and uh, Facebook, and all of those kinds of things. So, I've I. 
hired the very, very best uh, musicians possible because mm -hmm. I wanted kids to hear the best musicians playing all these, you know, all these various music. So in the Christmas album, we've got uh, just a Blue Lou from the Blues mm -hmm. Brothers Band on, on reeds and and it's thrilling to work with really great musicians. So I was a music major in Michigan, did my undergrad there, and got a master's at Manhattan School of Music. So um, I appreciate really good musicians. Now, how much how much work goes into doing all these records that you're doing on the side? Uh, quite a bit. It's a gradual thing. I started 20, 25 years ago, and. Uh, you know, when you feel there's a need for a different type, uh, I work with early childhood teachers also. It's a group called NACI, National Association Education Young Children. And so that allowed me to do some more things that were specifically good for early childhood teachers. As a matter of fact, I did two albums, LPs, many years ago with about 30 songs on each LP. And these teachers said, you know, Bob, we like you, we like your song, but we'd like to have your music without your voice. Oh, <laughs> so, I said, no. really? so I said, well, thank you very Why much. Would they say that? <laughs> I'll tell you, because they really they knew the musicians were great. This was a, a really terrific band up in Toronto, studio musician, and we record all this music. So I went back and listened, and I thought, she's right. So the last album I did about a year ago is called Bob's uh, Favorite Sing Along, and we have the song and then the music track. Now they can download the tracks, uh, whatever they want, and they can put on a whole program of 30 minutes with, like, you know, musicians they'd pay $25,000, $30,000 for. And in the car, it's kind of fun. Even my wife and I, we have it, and we skip my singing, and we, <laughs> <laughs> and we just sing along with the track. So it, it worked out very well. Good, yeah. I like that. I'm looking forward to checking that out. I'll definitely yeah. pick one of those up while I'm here. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, one thing I want to ask you about, you've done some work on Netflix as well. How, how is it compared doing a show on Netflix where they should really shoot everything at once and release it all at once as compared to well, Sesame Street? Yeah, no, the, the stuff, you know, as because I'm an actor, I mean, I do other stuff besides the Sesame Street uh, show. You just, you just said a thing on, I was doing, working on some uh, Shakespeare. He's, yeah, a, yeah. he's a real actor. Yeah, I'm I, not an actor, I'm a singer. <laughs> I, he's I, an actor. I know. <laughs> so I've, I've uh, been working as an actor for a, a long time. And he's and, a great actor. We've oh, seen thank all you, this. Bob. Thank you really you. are. My wife loves She's, you. She sees my productions. <laughs> <laughs> they to say, see all my productions, my best fans. <laughs> yeah, we never miss one. <laughs> so, so uh, of course, it's, it's different because, I mean, if you do something like House of Cards, I mean, it's going to be a little bit different than doing Sesame Street, you know. Uh, uh, all, all those shows that I did when I was uh, working and living in Los Angeles, like Lou Grant and, and all those shows, yeah, I mean, it was fun doing them all, you know. Uh, you learn a lot and, uh, yeah, as an actor, you, it goes on, it goes on. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope that Omaha Comic Con treats you very well. well how, you. how can people keep in touch with you guys? Uh, I'm on Facebook, and my website is bobmcgrath.com, and all, I've got a lot of fun pictures from the time I was five or six years old in the, in the Army, and actually my first tandem parachute jump a year ago with the, wow. uh, <laughs> with the uh, all, all veterans parachute team is the most exciting thing I ever, ever anticipate doing in my whole I life. I believe you did that. At 10,000 feet, do it. 125 miles an hour in free fall. Oh, yeah. oh, man, I'm telling you. It's, it's great. But uh, they can yeah. see us. And no, no, so, so just keep watching for me because I'm out there, you know, whether yeah. it's uh, uh, Law & Order or one of those shows or some movie that comes out, I'm out there. Well, make sure you keep in touch with them, and make sure you come out to Omaha Comic Con this weekend. Check out these guys. They've been in TV since before most of us were born. So make sure you come check them out. They're legends in TV. So make sure you come out to Omaha Comic Con. Check them out. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thanks very much, Dustin. Take it easy, man. Have a good day. Thank you.